Greetings, January 24, 2016. I have to excuse all the uh, reflected neon overhead light that we see on top there and outside light on the uh, plexi on the uh, two adjacent works like on top there. But I just added, uh, I've added three accoutrements to the wood frame that Ellie Sin has been framed in for many years. The drawing from 1984-85 about Elie Wiesel and pictorial imagery and language of anti-Semitism and the Holocaust. Um, the railroad spikes, that was done in 84-85. The railroad spikes were added in uh, 1987. Uh, there's five of them. And I added a uh, like a metal, like bureau or dresser, uh, like pull thingy in the left there. A round wooden one on the bottom center. And this uh, wooden toy horse here uh, at bottom right, which uh, fits in really well pictorially and compositionally, as well as aesthetically in terms of the metaphorically the metaphor um, and the um, for me the history of the uh, annihilation of a million and a half Jewish children by the Nazis and fascists and tens of thousands equally important of Romani and Sinti children that were murdered and as well there were tens of thousands of physically and mentally disabled Roman Catholic and Protestant Austrians and Germans who were systematically murdered in the Nazis' T4, like capital punishment, euthanasia program, which paved the way for the final solution against European Jewry and European Romani and Sinti people. There you have it. The uh, adjacent works are uh, Bonhoeffer de Jude, with uh, a special guest appearances by Rudiger Schleicher at lower left, and Alec Schwartz, a late survivor friend at lower right, Rudiger Schleicher and Bonhoeffer were both executed within three weeks of World War II ending in Europe. And then the third piece that comprises the, uh, the Shoah, aka the Holocaust Trilogy, uh, Zlata the Righteous of Bialystok, my mother's grandmother, and Zlata's son Liebel, who lived in Berlin. Uh, one of my great uncles. So there you have it. There are other videos up about these works also.